Hi guys, welcome back to Running Shoes Guru. My name is Brandon and today I'm reviewing the A6 Gel Nimbus 23. The Nimbus 23 is ASICS's plushest, most cushioned road running shoe. It's named after a cloud, but previous versions of the Nimbus felt anything but a cloud. I ran in the Nimbus 19, and to me it felt firm, lumpy, and just boring. Now at first glance, the Nimbus 23 doesn't look very different to the Nimbus 22, but all the improvements they've made are under the hood. It now has a gusted tongue, a softer midsole with more heel compression and a filled in arch area underneath. It still costs $150 and it weighs 11 ounces for a men's standard size. When it comes to looks, I'm a big fan of the design of the Nimbus 23 and in my opinion it's the best looking max cushion trainer. Even though gel is a little bit old school, the Nimbus looks too chunky, the glycerin looks too plain and the Triumph just looks like a dad shoe. My first run in them was 12 kilometers at an easy pace and I was really surprised at how comfortable and plush they felt. The feeling which stood out the most for me was that squishy layer directly underfoot which felt kind of like memory foam that pushes up and surrounds your feet and toes. They felt really protective, smooth and plush on that first run. The midsole of the Nimbus 23 is a similar setup to the Nimbus 22. It's got this continuous layer of flight foam at the bottom and a wedge of flight foam propel on the top. There's a hidden coin size gel unit in the forefoot and a large visible gel unit under the heel. But the gel in the shoe doesn't really affect the ride much. It's the density of the foam used that affects the ride. And the density of the Nimbus 23's midsole foam is super soft. It's not as soft as the Clifton 7, but it's softer than all the other Max Cushion trainers I've tested. When it comes to performance, I didn't expect the Nimbus 23 to have much responsiveness, but it did have some decent levels of spring back, and I was able to pick up the pace to below 515 per kilometer with relatively little effort. The Nimbus 23 for me felt best on middle distances between 10 and 20 kilometers at an easy pace which is about 530 per kilometer. I did take them out on one long run which was 40 kilometers but I felt that they were too squishy because after 20 kilometers I developed some foot fatigue. It felt like I was fighting with the shoe because of that spongy layer directly underfoot. There are two types of rubber used on the outsole. You've got Ahar which is this blue rubber and AR Plus, which is this green rubber at the back. And ASICS got the placement of this rubber completely wrong. Because here on this area, the outer lateral heel posterior, where most runners strike, you need the durable rubber. But they've only placed AHAR here, and instead they've placed AHAR Plus on the tip of the heel. Now I previously thought that AHAR was a really durable rubber. But I've only run 80 kilometers in my pair, and the rubber has almost worn down right to the midsole. So durability is a big, big concern. It's currently monsoon season in Singapore and we're experiencing lots of rainfall. So I got to test these out in the wet. And unfortunately, they were really slippery and really loud and squeaky. So there are major improvements needed to the outsole of the Nimbus 23. This is how you do a max cushioned trainer upper. It's the most comfortable upper I've ever worn and everything about it is perfection. From its true to size fit, to overall foot lockdown, to the padded heel counter. Now the biggest difference between the Nimbus 23 and the Nimbus 22 is that the Nimbus 23 now has a gusseted tongue, so no tongue slide occurs. 
and ASICS didn't make too big a deal about it. But I think it's a massive deal because it's the first ASICS running shoe to feature a gusset to the tongue. And I really hope they continue doing it. So at the end of the day, the Nimbus 23 really surprised me. You know, for $150, a shoe should feel special. And the Nimbus 23 definitely does. It's in the same league as the 1080, the Triumph, and the Glycerin. But I still think the Triumph is the better overall shoe because I didn't get any foot fatigue in it on longer runs and it's a much more durable shoe. But the Nimbus 23 is perfect for those daily junk miles where you're not sure which shoe to choose but you want something that's comfortable, protective and it just gets the job done. At 11 ounces it's a heavy shoe but that's how I like my Max Cushion trainers to be because it stops me from running too fast on my easy days and it makes my tempo runs and races easier because I'm used to running in a heavier shoe. If you've also run in the Nimbus 23, please let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and please remember to like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru if you haven't already.